everybody. Bob Sekulder, Sekulder Team, Remax Properties East um, in Jamaica, Montego Bay at a sandals on a dive boat. We're going out after lionfish. Uh, there's a reason for that. But before we get to that, here's what's happening back in Louisville and Southern Indiana real estate. The headlines say it all. The cooling housing market enters into the great deceleration. Home prices decelerate. Buying a home at the wrong time can backfire big time. But note, decelerating home prices does not mean depreciating home prices. And the forecast for the rest of 2022 by many of the companies that keep an eye on the appreciation of homes indicates we're still in for an 8 to 10 percent appreciation across the country, maybe a little less here in Louisville, but nonetheless, the outlook is good. Wondering about the value of your home beyond 2022? Well, take a look at this forecast. Looking forward to 2026, still a very positive appreciation of home prices. There's also good news for buyers. The forecast for inventory is way up for the rest of this year. And of course, that's because the increase in interest rates has slowed buyer activity. Now, buyers take note over the past five recessions, mortgage rates have actually fallen an average of 1.8% from the peak. Of course, no one knows what the peak will be. For buyers, we should start to see less competition fewer bidding wars, and therefore less upward price pressure. And that could help everyone achieve the goal of finding their next dream home. Now back to Jamaica and the search for lionfish. Underwater off the coast of Jamaica, the seas are alive with fish and coral it's a beautiful sight. But it's this fish, a lionfish, that actually is disturbing the peace under the water. They're an invasive species. They do not belong here. They have no natural predators here. They eat anything that fits in their mouth, up to a third of their body weight a day. So they eat the little fish that eat the algae that keeps the corals and the sponges healthy. Don Brocklebank is among the divers who have been certified to hunt and kill lionfish. I was merely an observer as I watched these guys go after these lionfish, which are virtually hanging around every piece of coral, if you know where to look for them. The catching of the lionfish, pretty simple and straightforward. Watch this carefully. It happens relatively quickly. This diver has a spear that goes into the coral where he's found a lionfish. You can see the lionfish on the spear. Lionfish goes into the container, and when the spear is pulled out, the lionfish stays inside. The lionfish can also sting us, which would cause intense pain and sweating, and in extreme cases, respiratory distress and paralysis. It's another reason to get rid of these things. So with them here, the reef dies. Without them. Without them, the reef comes back. But they're delicious. They're delicious after the poisonous glands are removed. The fish are actually given to the natives who consider this a delicacy. On this day, on this dive, the divers caught about eight of those lionfish. There are thousands more. Not all the Caribbean islands have a serious lionfish problem. But there are a lot of them out there, and the tourists who are divers are doing their best when they're certified to get rid of them. If you're thinking about selling your home, I'll be back in Louisville in a matter of days. Don't hesitate to give me a call on my cell phone anytime, day or night, 502-376-5483. That's 502-376-5483. I'm Bob Sokoler, the Sokoler Team, Remax Properties East.